In this ME470 final project, we've taken a charcoal smoker, at electrical heating coils, and a thermocouple to automatically control the heat through a Raspberry Pi program. This way, meat can be cooked for hours without having to be constantly monitored. So the first thing to do to get this uh, started is just to uh, plug your Raspberry Pi in, which we have done. While the pie is warming up, we're just gonna make sure these dials are turned all the way to max. Uh, we kept the dials on so that you can still manually use the burners inside. So we've got the LCD backlight turned off right now to make sure the pie has enough power to start up without crashing, but it should be enough time now, so let's go ahead, let's turn that on. And on startup, it automatically uh, runs the, our program, so we are ready to go. So here we are at the startup screen. Uh, we can push manual. You just check, check the temperature, turn the burners on and off. But for smoking things, we want to go into auto. So we got four different temperatures for different kinds of meats. Um, for fish, we'll do 200. For pork and uh, beef, we'll do 225. For chicken, 250. 150 is more just for jerky. So since we're doing pork, let's push 225. And this is going to be on for a long, long time. We're talking 12 hours. So here it goes, it's warming up. All right, now that the burners are nice and hot, uh, you can see we have some uh, leftover charcoal just to get things started up on the last one. But we'll go ahead and throw our wood. I like to put a little bit down here just to get it started. And then this is where our main bed is. Um, you can kind of see some smoke coming off of it. This stuff has been here for a while. Uh, so we'll just add um, some good fresh chips and it'll uh, provide smoke. All right, now that it's gotten up to 225, let's go ahead and press start. Um, now we can raise and lower the temperature here as needed. Um, this just tells us how much time we have left. We've got 12 hours right now, add 15 minutes. And this is our home page for when we're uh, just waiting for it to cook. If we need to check back and just make sure it's doing all right, there's where we can come and just kind of control the basic settings. So now that our um, our cook is done, it has automatically shut off, and we can it's returned us to this uh, main screen. We can just go ahead and push shut down right there. I'll just turn the whole thing down. After 12 hours of cooking, you can see that our pork shoulder is well done. It has that red little smoke ring around the edge that gives it some really nice flavor, and as you'll see in a moment, it shreds really well.